Lessons from my Bible Print Collection, The Lord Jesus Christ, A Friend, Father, Savior, and Creator. The page print I want to share with you today is very special, as it brings so many emotions from within me. The print is from 1948 and was done by Harry Anderson. The scene is Jesus healing a sick child. Now, I could throw a whole lot of scriptures out about this print, but I have decided this time to give you only my thoughts and feelings. I should feel close to Jesus at all times, but there are times that I don't, and those times are my own fault. Any sin not dealt with builds a wall between myself and my friend Jesus. How truly insane that is when I realize his arms are open to receive me no matter what I have done. I am shamed by my sin, as well I should be. No sin should be taken lightly. But when I confess it to you, Jesus, he forgives me, and it is as if the sin had never happened. It is a cleansing and a healing. The father of the child in this print is sick with worry. His child is dying. He knows what this Jesus of Nazareth can do, and so he approaches him in a humble, childlike faith. And that's how the Bible tells us that we should go to Jesus as a child to his father. I am reminded here of all Jesus truly is, as in this print he is a healer of both physical and spiritual illness. Remember the man possessed of so many demons and living in a cemetery? Do you recall what happened when he met Jesus? Jesus cast the demons out, and spiritually he healed the man. While I don't fully understand, but Jesus is the Son, my blessed Lord and Savior, but the Bible says that um, the Father created all things through Jesus. And as if that were not enough, the Bible teaches us that all things are held together by Jesus. Our earth, the seas, the sun, moon, and cosmos, yea, all creation is held together by Jesus. And when the first man was formed out of the ground, it was he who formed him, even knowing then that his creation he loved so dearly would fall away from him and into sin. As he formed that man, he knew that one day he would leave the glories of heaven to be himself born as a man who would suffer and die for our sins, for my sins personally, for if I were the only sinner, he still would have given his life and his blood so that I, that I might be redeemed. That is astounding love beyond anything I can truly ever hope to comprehend. Not only did Jesus heal, but he raised people from the dead. Who could ever forget what he did for Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha? I've had people ask me, why, if he loves us so much, does he allow suffering to go on? But he hasn't allowed it. We have chosen it. He created man and woman special for to have a meaningful relationship with him. But the curse came when we disobeyed. But the curse came when... when uh, when we all disobeyed through Adam and Eve. And ever since, most of mankind has chosen the path of destruction rather than that which leads to eternal life with Jesus. I truly believe, with no doubt at all, that we are living in the last days, that his return will be very soon. There are so many, many signs as to that being true. Most striking to me is that everything that has always been good and moral is spat on now, and the depths of depravity are accepted as being okay and in the last days the Bible teaches that there will be a falling away and and hate and contempt for Jesus in the Bible I have never seen such hatred for Jesus as in comments left by viewers on YouTube the hatred is stifling and while we may be experiencing some minor persecutions here in the United States that won't last for long because before long we will be hated and killed for his name just like is happening to our Christian brothers and sisters in the Middle East right now. And despite all that, I feel privileged, I feel it an honor to be alive in the time which will usher in the millennium. Forgive me please, as I have strayed far from what my original intent here had been. If you don't know him as your Lord, call, and uh, you need to call on his name today and make it right, let me know if you want to know how to be saved, and, I, and by his grace I will share with you. Or find a good Bible-believing church in your area, and I can help you with that also. None of us can be sure we have a tomorrow here on this physical plane. In two weeks, I will turn, oh my gosh, 60 years old, and, I, I, and those years have flown by with such swiftness. 
so many people I have loved uh, have gone home to be with Jesus, but they will be um, coming back with him in great victory. And if I pass before then, well, I will return with them, and I'll be with my dad and mom, my dear friends Russ and Betty and um, Ella Preter, Pa Averly, so many others. Yes, Jesus is a healer, both physical and spiritual, and truly, there is no way I can express in words the thank you for all he has done for me and for you. Why not accept his free gift of salvation today? There is no time like this time, and the hour truly is late. God bless you, and thank you for taking this time with me.